there's been a lot of questions like did you guys move to Hawaii what is happening what's going on so I haven't seen Savannah for a while somebody said that she went to the bathroom then we haven't seen her since then it is time for surgery we've never been down this hill after it rains in the nighttime it's gonna be slippery this is the most scary part right here there's an edge over there this cliff goes off oh oh Branson Branson <laughs> So we got ads over here, doing nothing. Branson's sweeping over here. Can you just sit in the corner? Oh, Neymar's sweeping though. Hey, Neymar, you stole my sweeper! I don't know what Branson did to get in trouble to have to do the chores, but I'm not even gonna ask what he did to have to sweep the floor this morning. Probably just because he's a good guy and he wanted it done. No, I walk around, there was crumbs sticking my feet and it was driving me freaking crazy, so I had to do something. And I have to do this. <laughs> it's, if you got this down, then you, you know what it's all about. Anyway, we're, we're actually we're filming a video for Branson's channel and we're just straightening up the house and he's like, okay, this is driving me nuts. Because there's been lots of in and out, in and out, outside, inside, outside, inside, and dragging stuff in, so. It is time for surgery. There's still more in there? Oh, yeah. No. So these window shades back here, one was going like this, so I was trying to fix it and it no. went right. Did you fix it? No. It gave me a sliver. Mara got it out and then put it like all out. There's more in there. failed. I know. So, Branson, you're the light. It could be a second piece, is what it actually could be. Ow. Yeah, that's yeah, it. That's it. No! Uh. That's it. I'm sorry. Uh. Hey, We're gonna we're gonna play a, a round of Last to Be Found with Neymar being a seeker. This is gonna be very interesting. I'm actually excited for it. Do I hide in a really good spot, or do I hide out in the open? Do I want to be the last to be found? Will he lose interest by the end? Lots of questions. Or we always say that we bring the rain with us whenever we're going on vacation, and these guys are all like, "No, you don't. No, you don't." I've never seen that again. <laughs> I'm telling you, real thing. That's true. <laughs> up to PT. Let's see how it turned out. Ta da! Hold on, you guys. Oh. I, I love it. I shaped that myself. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Mimi Crossing. We finally saw the sign. This might be our last wishing well shave ice. Everyone is a little crazy today. We have not been out of the house no, we're not. due to rain. <laughs> and they're a little bit crazy. What flavor did you get today? Coconut passion fruit. You want to get it? Ready? So I haven't seen Savannah for a while and she was just walking up and down the shore looking for these and anyway I gotta go find her because she went to, somebody said that she went to the bathroom then we haven't seen her since then so I'm hoping she's around this corner over here oh there she is found her nice look whoa sick I just got stung by a bee and where did he go? He's right here somewhere, so it, it doesn't matter. The stinger is in me, so. It was a honeybee, too. Oh, it stings. Oh, it stings. Stepped right on him. Ugh. I 
I didn't see him, then I stepped right, oh, there he is right there. There's the guy that stung me, you punk. Why do you sting me? Probably because I stepped on you. Like, why'd you step on me? Yeah, see, it's stinger's gone, which yeah. means it's, oh, it's still in me. Will you get it out? Where is it? This Hold down on. here? Yep, you see it? Yeah. Ah, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, get it out. Ah, uh, you didn't get ah! it all the way out. Can you get it? Should I try it? Uh, I think you got it. I think I just got it, yeah. I think you got it. I think so too. Oh, it's got like, look at that. It's got like mucus on it. Hold on, let's see. That's disgusting. That's the, that's the yeah, stinger. That's the stinger right there. <laughs> I was like, oh, that didn't feel good. I felt like I stepped on like just one of those pokey things. Oh, but then yeah. I was like, ooh, that's, that like, like stings. Yeah. Where did he go? He's right there. Oh, man. Poor guy. Well, you do not have a life left after that situation. You just lost your stinger, which means you lost everything. I'd like to say it's been a long time since I've been, since I've been stung by a bee, but it's actually not true well, because you got stung just a few months ago yeah, when, we were, months when we were harvesting the honey and pretty much every time that I go into the beehive, me or Stubbsy get stung. Actually, every time Stubbsy gets stung. <laughs> but uh, I always end up getting some kind of a sting. So I used to be like super, super afraid of them. Like, oh no, like this is the worst thing ever, but it's just not fun. That's basically it, yeah. it's not fun. We might get rained on again. Looks like it might happen. <laughs> I love it. Where'd you find that one? It was just over with the sticks. You know what I'm sad about? So there's no sticks in our backyard when you get home. So today is the day. Today is our last full day here. And uh, as you've been watching, there's been a lot of questions like, did you guys move to Hawaii? What is happening? What's going on? Um, some know because some pay very close attention to all the channels, our kids' channels, our social media. And uh, we weren't letting it out fully as to what we were doing. Uh, just because, you know, it's kind of fun not to have all the answers and the details of everything. but. We were here for the month of February, and that was the plan, and has been the plan for a few months now. And uh, it was kind of a, uh, we had to get away and get kind of a reset and, and try to figure out what it is we were trying to do moving forward. You know, you get attached to things, and you get attached to certain ways, and uh, life is all about change. And so what we were, what we've been doing is not forcing that change, but adjusting a little bit here and there and we decided that Hawaii was the best place for that. So we are headed back home tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day that we head back home and we are sad, but we're also excited. So there's uh, lots of emotions happening for us. And uh, yeah, it's been an amazing, absolutely amazing experience. And I am so grateful for the opportunity and I'm grateful for you guys for coming along with us. It's been fun. Again. Did they make it? Your mom and Neymar, where are they? Where are they? Oh, there they are. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Neymar! Neymar, he looks at me out of the corner of his eye. <laughs> Neymar! Hey, buddy! <laughs> It's coming down. Yeah, it is. Wow. We got back home and it wasn't raining at all. And then it, it's, that's what they call torrential. Torrential, I guess, downpour. It just starts dumping. And then it slows down. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. It is tiny, tiny. Like, look how small it is. That's so cute. Okay, so we are going to the cave, and it is, uh, it's nighttime. We've never been down this hill after it rains in the nighttime. It's gonna be slippery. Yeah. We'll be all right. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm just sliding. I'm just sliding. <laughs> I'm getting the ground already. I'm just, <laughs> this isn't in the slippery part. Look at this. <laughs> okay, I gotta turn the camera off. I'm just going down. Yeah. Whoa. Doing great. There's the steep part. We already made it past that. 
Yeah. Couldn't use the camera during that time, it's too dangerous, but it's very mushy. And then there's the ocean down there. And yeah, we're really close, we just gotta go down this little steep portion right here and get to the rocks and head down. It rained for a second. Right now it's not pouring, so you good? I know I got yeah. some pokes in my hands too. This is wild. It's more wild than the other night for sure. Okay, next step. Brant is up there talking on the phone. <laughs> At least his watch. There we go. There we are. There's the cave. Looks like there's one little turtle right there. Oh, See it? Uh-oh. It could be a rock, but it looks oh, like a turtle to me. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's definitely. And the water looks amazing. So what we'll do, there's little fish jumping out there. What we'll do is we'll slide down this rock as soon as the water yeah, the the, uh, the waves retract. We'll finish it off. All right, we made it into the cave, and that is a turtle. Yeah, we just can't get close to it. Oh, the shells! I'm excited about the shells. Oh, look at that. Oh wait, what? Walk right by it. Oh, I didn't see that one. Uh -uh. Okay, we got some, we got some more turtles in here for sure. Let's make sure we're not stepping on any. That's a rock. There's two turtles, two more. That makes four. That guy's pretty cool. Five more right there. That is a big one over there. Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's. Whoa, they're all. Let's sneak between these. That's the hard part, you're supposed to keep your distance, so. What is going on behind this one? What is that? What is that? It could be. There are so many right here. There's 18 right here, or just 18 total? Oh wow, there's another one back up in there. Dang. Okay, time to climb out. Sure you're grabbing stuff. Yep. This next part's the most slippery. <gasps> yeah. Got it. Wow. Okay, this is the part where I shut this off. Okay. You alright, Savannah? Try to be. This is the most scary part right here. There's an edge over there. This cliff goes off. Oh, you got it. Lean forward. Yeah, careful. Oh, oh, Branson, Branson. You good? You good? Yeah. He went a little too far though. You're sliding a little too far towards that cliff. Maybe I won't show Mara this video. <laughs> Branson's got it all over his shirt. <laughs> Probably have it all over my clothes. On your sleeve. Look at his shirt. Your shirt, your shorts, and your face. I can feel it kicked on my face now. Now that it's dried. It's yeah. But yeah, I kept having bugs up on the over. trail. <laughs> I kept having face. bugs on me up the trail, so I would just like wipe them off, not even think the fact that my hands were covered in mud. I am trying to get as much of my stuff and the little boy's stuff packed up tonight because we have to be out of here at 10 a.m. tomorrow. So, so it's not so hectic. Just get as much stuff done as we can tonight. I can't believe it's already over. It has been so awesome, like beyond amazing. Okay, I forgot that my face is covered in mud, but I went through my shells. I went from this bag, which was full up to around here of shells. My butt is covered in sand, guys. I have to like sit all weird or else it just bugs my legs. Anyways. This is the shells that I'm keeping. Um, pretty good amount. There's lots of little ones. Most of, I would say probably a third of the shells in here are puka shells because those are my favorite shells. And if I only could keep, if I could keep only less of these, I would only keep my puka shells, honestly. But this is the shells that Lizzie's keeping that were mine that I found. And then I have this bag, which is the bag that's going back to the beach. So I also, I do have a water bottle that's about that much full of shells. So I have the smell of sand and dirt and shells and ocean 
engraved my nose from me just being like this in the bag. My face was practically in the bag. So anyways, I also found a dog one of the days, a little toy dog. Canyon told me how much he liked it, and I was like, well, like, I don't wanna keep it, kinda cool, keep safe. But now I'm like, I'm gonna give it to him tomorrow. Anyways, that's one thing checked off my to-do list. I still need to shower and get my wet stuff out of the shower so it'll dry so I can put it away tomorrow. Pack up my suitcase. I have a lot to do still. I'm not going to bed anytime soon. It's already past midnight, so these next two nights I'm not going to get much sleep. But it's fine. I'm super excited and going to go get in the shower because I am a mess.